is Vanessa Gray. I am a community organizer from the Amshanong First Nation. I attended Justin Trudeau's climate rally on March 4th, 2019 at the Danforth Music Hall. I went to ensure voices of Indigenous people were present and to draw attention to the ongoing colonial and environmental violence the Indigenous people experience in Canada. Before arriving at the event, I hid a Canadian flag in my shirt that said no justice on stolen native land on it to remind those present that ground zero of environmental violence is occurring right now on unceded land. A material reminder that the Unistoten and Gidimden have not given their free, prior, and informed consent for coastal gas link or any company to establish pipelines or industrial work camps on their territories. At around 8.15, there are a series of disruptions from protesters. After two people interrupted Trudeau's speech, they were forced to leave and he continued to speak. I threw the flag in the air and I screamed, no justice on stolen native land. The next thing I knew I was being thrown. As seen in the video of the assault, the older white man uh, who was standing in front of me uh, turned around, he grabbed my arm, and then he threw me into the crowd. I was shocked, and but I wasn't deterred. I rose up and I continued to scream no justice on stolen native land. I screamed this over and over again until the security pulled me out of the rally. The Trudeau government continues to violate the rights of Indigenous people and prioritizes corporate profits over the well-being of all of us. The Trudeau government advocates for climate change but bulldozes through the unceded territories of Indigenous people to build their unsustainable pipelines. As Anishinaabe Kwe from the Amshanong First Nation, as a land protector, as a researcher of environmental violence, I have first-hand experience, knowledge, and expertise in how the Trudeau government in Canada enable assaults on Indigenous life and livelihood from their lack of regulations of multi-billion dollar corporations, such as in the Chemical Valley, where 40% of Canada's petrochemicals are being processed, to the purchase of the Trans Mountain Pipeline, to the incident of March 4th, 2019, when Justin Trudeau witnessed a young Indigenous woman being assaulted in front of him and responded, oh boy, oh boy. It is deeply disturbing that in a country where Indigenous women are 3.5 times more likely than non-Indigenous women to experience violence, where Indigenous women are being murdered at a rate seven times that of non-Indigenous women, that many people attending the event, including the Prime Minister himself, witnessed me being assaulted and did nothing. Instead, I was removed from the building and tossed outside. As for the man who assaulted me, he was allowed to remain inside and listen to the rest of the Prime Minister's speech. This is what happened. This is how the Prime Minister acted when an Indigenous woman was assaulted right in front of him. This is Canada.